So got one card, which we know to be a terror. <clears throat> we got an answer for a sower. So now we have attack for six island walking on the Colossus, attack for another eight island walking with the Mutabolts. Terror Lord. Oh, really? There's a ton of island walking damage he just gave away. Wow. Yeah, the crowd. I was a little disappointed to not see the 6-6 six, six Colossus getting in there. 6 it was 14, right? Yes, it was 14. And you can almost pump Colossus. But this should work, too. Those are still some giant men. All right, it's a 3-3 three, three Mutavolt. A 4-4 four, four Vanquisher. 4-4 four, four Vanquisher. 4-4 four, four Colossus. 5-5 five, five Colossus. 2-1-1. Yeah, Mutavolt trades with both remaining Mur Merfolk. Nine damage. Yeah. Charles Gindy up two games to zero. Ten? Did you take one damage? Oh, yeah, from that. Uh, okay. Jan Roos is at ten. Huh? Will Straws a card. No, there's the hand. Charles Gindy sweeps. Elves win the Pro Tour. Charles Kindy wins the Pro Tour. The title stays in the United States, and Pro Tour Hollywood has been everything that Charles Kindy dreamed it could possibly be. And yeah, when you get there, I mean, look at that smile. Good. Look at that smile. That is one happy Magic player. Congratulations, Charles Kindy, Pro Tour Hollywood champion. Wow, absolutely. Been playing Magic since he was 12 years old. Been dreaming. Probably played Elves on the kitchen table just like all of us did when he was growing up. Probably played Merfolk and against Merfolk. Everybody starts. Welcome to Lorwyn. Welcome to a tribal era in Magic. And suddenly, the get decks that used to just be good enough for the kitchen table are now good enough to win Pro Tours. Wow. A couple of Alpha Edition stalwarts. <laughs> Lord Land is not good enough to get the job done. Lanoir Elf? Lanoir Elf to the task. Yes. Lanoir Elf, Terror, got the job done. A little help from some Colossuses, some Mutavolts. Wow, it's great magic. That was, uh, and Charles, Charles Gindy uh, just played great magic, pushed his advantage at every turn, slowed down when he needed to. Uh, that had a really complicated interaction. Sig River Guide looked like there was enough mana on uh, Jan Rus's side of the board to potentially really complicate life with that with that Sig, but Gindy set it up great. He attacked with a Colossus, yielded priority. Are you going to use your Sig? Are you not going to use your Sig? I mean, Rus played it as well as he possibly could, leaving back a Sig activation, but Gindy swooped in with the Slaughter Pack. He'd set it up. He saved it. Down goes Sig. The rest of it was just a matter of, of attacking. And the Shriekmar also drew a Sunlands out of his hand, which ended up being crucial later on with the uh, Imperious, another Imperious Perfect hitting the board. Sure. Yeah, no, I mean, good draws from both players, but Gindy played it great. Yeah. Absolutely played it great. A worthy Pro Tour champion. What are you going to remember this Pro Tour for? I am going to remember the reaction people had as they watched Guillaume Wafatapa's deck <laughs> tear through day one and then lose a wheel on day two. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you can really sense that, you know, Guillaume has become the guy that everybody's asking about. Yeah. Day one of the Pro Tour, it used to be Kenji, and it's, just, it's not Kenji right now, it's Guillaume. That's who people want to know. What did he build? What is he playing? What is he doing? Yeah, of course he's 8-0. Of course he's 9-0. Guillaume Wafatapo, I, I think, really was the guy that the room was revolving around on day one. That's a, that's yeah. a good point. And I think I'm also, I mean, Charles Gindy just, I mean... Yeah, that smile was perfect. Just his just smile. A huge is, beaming smile as he gets the chance to live his dreams. And, and he had that same smile yesterday. I mean, he was he was True. again just happy to be there. You know, he's like, I've made my top eight. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go play Magic on the Pro Tour in the top eight. This is what I've always wanted. And then we really had this feeling that his happiness, his, his kind of relaxed <laughs> uh, demeanor, really played a large role in his success. We, you know, we saw Shuhei Nakamura. You know, who's you know one of the greatest players in the game fifth Pro Tour top eight, mm -hmm. and you could really feel the pressure. I don't know if this played it, it had any 
Yeah, it's not like we saw a mistake, but I mean, he was clearly more like, I want to win. He's clearly bearing down on him. You know, it's like he's just disappointed in a loss. Indy's not disappointed in a loss. He's playing a little angrier, a little like, you know. Fair. It's fair. Hard to know if that makes a difference or not. Yeah. I think that uh, Ferries is the big story. The big takeaway for me, for Standard right now, is that a lot of people look to the Pro Tour like, what are the best decks? And coming into this, nobody could figure out how to beat fer- Ferries. Right. Coming out of this, you've got the best players in the world, spend a couple of months trying to figure out, there's the deck with the target on his forehead, how do I beat that deck? And any number of ways. There are several different anti-fairy strategies built in here, and when the best players in the world playing their, their choice of the best deck, was Elves versus Merfolk in the finals. It was Revelark in the semis, with, along with another Elf deck. Fairies is good, no question about it, but there's a lot of other decks that are at least as good out there. Right, Revel- and Revelark's a deck that is it, definitely, I think, going to be a big takeaway for a lot of people at home. Uh, it was played very, very narrowly in the tournament. There were, there were only 18 players on day one. Mm-hmm. There, were only, uh, there were less than 10 players on day two, but it put two people into this top eight. It's true. Yeah, Revelark was good in this field. I think the key was building Revelark so that it can beat fairies. Okay, and that was good enough. Yeah. And then the key, you know, okay, Yelv, the Merfolk, Guillaume off the top his deck, right? Quick and Toast, really, Manuel Boucher's deck. Yeah. Guillaume's just the pilot in that case. Tons of stuff going on, tons of decks to choose from. Should be a fun couple of months for Magic, right? Oh, absolutely. The format looks like it's in great shape. Until Berlin, when we worry about extending. Yeah, fair enough. We'll see what happens there, post-rotation. That'll be fun. So, Brian and I are are just about done. We're going to send you guys down to an award ceremony, and we'll see you next time in Berlin. So, for Brian David Marshall, this is Randy Bueller. Here comes your award ceremony.